Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another dun dun anime review, and today we are reviewing the the anime called Wolf Rain. Yay! So sit back and relax, and I can tell you all about it. Let's get started. So basically, in a dying world, there exists an ancient leaven legend when the world ends and the gateway to paradise will open. The utopia is the sole salvation for the remnants of life in this barren land. But the legend also dictates that only wolves can find their way to this mythical realm. As you can tell by the wolves in the background. Though long thought to be extinct, wolves still exist and live amongst humans disguising themselves. Let me show you a couple of the wolves. Um, here we go, here's one of the characters. Here's, um, here's a better form of the characters, but I gotta show you the name. Cause I don't want to butcher their name. Oh, uh, I don't have their name. I just have their, their same myself with the wolves. Let me find their names, guys. Because I do not want to butcher names. And I can't read Japanese yet, but I'm working on it. Um, let's see. Where is the... There we go. Here we go. <laughs> so here are the wolves. This is Tume. This is Hinge, Kiba, and Tobe. So these are the wolves that, that disguise themselves as humans and on Earth to find the mythical lands. So they disguise themselves in that utopian society. Through elaborate illusions, very good illusions, a lone roof named Kiba. That's Kiba, the white pretty wolf right there finds himself drawn by an intoxicating scent to freeze city, an improvised, improv, impoverished town under the rule of Qualist Lord Oaken. Here, Kiba discovers that wolf Hinge, Hinge, Tube, and Tumus had been drawn in by the same aroma. By following the fragrance of lunar flower said to be the key to open the door to their ideal world, the wolves set out on an adventure across desolate landscapes and crumbling cities to find their legendary um legendary promised land. Hold on one second. However, they are not the only ones seeking this pos the seeking paradise, and those with more of a sinister potential will do anything in their power to reach it first. And that's basically what Wolf Ring is. But overall, the graphics are visually stunning, and I love the series. And then, like half time, like I felt bad for the wolf population because they're hunted to near extinction where they have to have but no choice but to to disguise themselves in human form to find peace and like sadly i'm kind of sad it's kind of the same thing in our own world where we're like kind of diminishing the wolf population and it's very 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 sad to say the least so i'm very sad about that but overall i did love the anime god darn it hold on guys sorry but also Another thing that I really like is that you get a different type of protagonist besides just human. You get in like in a wolf protagonist. And then on the technical technical side of the thing, um, Wolf Rain's animation is also really gorgeous. And you can almost count on Studio Bone who produces anime to put out good work. But Wolf Rain has proficient uh, pedigree. Fantastical backgrounds are detailed, variants of engrossing characters and design are distant and very attractive, and fights and chaos are breathtaking. The music was composed by Yukio Kono, which means, well, all her work is magnificent, but this may be some of her best work. And then the, the insert song and orchard are set alone beautiful and at set alone, but absolutely makes the most, makes the most emotional scenes in the series wonderful on itself. It also has a wonderful soundtrack to listen to. Even without the anime involved, but one thing else is, but it's never to overwhelm the story either. Matching the accents on on screen for beat to beat. In the term of voice acting, the Japanese is solid, but also listening to Royal Flame has one of the best dub ever made so far of any anime. I most have watched both dub and sub all together. Though there is kind of a line of the whole package. What more do you usually expect? Ma mention the standalone actors as well. Even some of the actually even strong persons in their five minute in spotlight, but the dub is perfect. And then also Wolfram takes place in a complex, like, 
fantasy world with rich history but doesn't feel like sharing any of that history with the class directly that this is good because it leads to greater focus on characters and almost no exposition sprouted. Speaking of the characters, they all start out with flawed archetypes and slowly flesh out in their very complex personality, which is kind of different, but still approaches the same very little in telling far less, forcing you to think and catch all the fine details in order to understand why wolves are considered divine and what makes the noble difference from normal human beings, and most importantly, just what happened 200 years ago to make the world what is the story it's possible to figure it all out but it's not easy so you gotta kind of have to use your cyber clue skill to figure out bits and pieces of it along the way and this is because well there's a little known fact about the show wolf Rain is an allegory whereby most everything is actually symbolic of something else pilgrim process was a religious allegory the little princess was a sociology allegory and wolf Rain is both but not as obvious as either of them. The show cross reference several religion and mythologies to portray a un unified theme. The wolves face trial of doubt, despair, mistrust, confusion, even a false pair that offers bliss in exchange for identity. And this addition to the villains that hounds them. The humans in the story struggle with issues of self-worth, denial, choosing comfort or facing the truth, etc. All lead up to a whiz-bang climax feature one of the noble ideals of perfect city for humans. Like, think of Brave World or 1984. Things I would like to approach about this is sublime, not in uh, in villages or lying, where you know that the big psychological being waggles at you. You may not recognize any of the references in Wolfram, but it is a powerful message to get through without just fine mentioning of Hedgehog Dilemma or the God in the Wire. So let me put Wolf Wolfram is a powerful and will make you think you'll never get even more out of it. You'll say, read Revelations or know anything about Chido's animal symbology. But the writers don't expect you to. I learned a lot more about the show after I did some research, but only research because it's already fascinating. And then overall, in the end, you if you want to turn your brain off and be a little confused while you watch it, the outward beauty and emotional recognition of the series cannot be denied, even in a fairly conventional conclusion. I watched it through several times and very happy with every single time I found something new and profound. It's pure magic. It will make you cry. But I hope in the end, you'll be howling happy. Get it? Howling wolves. <laughs> but all, all in all, I almost pulled this series down a little because it's slightly emulate like aliens who in between things and focus on animals instead of humans but then I thought how can you punish yourself for being both incredibly deep and professionally different it may not be perfect but I can't promise you'll like it but it's quality work of art among anime and, 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 and incites a whole new breed of fantasy and I like and I'm okay with it not spending full circle on the religion aspect because that's not what is all the time to show in the reference but also like trying to to show you the true message in the series as a whole. Well, I hope you enjoy my anime review of Wolfram. Check it out below. Not below, but comment down below in the comment section is who's your favorite character in the Wolf series. Um, come also, if you have any questions about Wolfram, I'll be happy to ask to and answer. Um, also comment in the comment section which character is your favorite, what aspect did you like about the series in general, and also if you have any other anime for me to watch, let me know down below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time for another dun-dun anime review, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!